Hey, it's Anya here at Our Gabled Home where I like to share tips for a simple, beautiful, healthy, and sustainable living. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about why elderflowers are good for you and how you can use them. And you may have never heard about elderflowers, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in just a moment. This is also part of a spring collaboration that I'm doing with some of my blogging friends. I'll be linking the information for their YouTube videos in the description box below. So check out what they have. There's some amazing content and you'll definitely want to watch it. So this is an elderberry bush. It has flowers that you can use and it has berries later in the summer that um, are also really healthy and super yummy actually. I have a blog post that I'll be linking below about how you can make your own elderberry jam and I'll be back here later this summer when the elderberries are ripe and talk a little bit about more about their health benefits, how you can use them and how delicious they are and what you can do with them. In this video I have my dog Tika supervising. Tika's not going to focus supervising my activities while I'm talking. So elderberries grow pretty much abundantly in Northern California. They're easy to find. They're especially easy to find in the spring when they're full of flowers. And don't be surprised if you ask people and they won't tell you where the locations are because people tend to be pretty protective around their elderberry bushes. And you may have noticed that in the store, if you wanna buy elderberry syrup or elderberry um, juices, they tend to be pretty pricey. So it's, um, it's definitely something that people value. Elder flowers come up in the late spring, depending on where you live. Again, this is Northern California. It's actually really cold for a Memorial Day weekend. I'm here in a down vest and long sleeve, which is, as I said, pretty unseasonal and unusual. So they pop up in the spring and elder flowers are antiviral, antibacterial, they have anti-inflammatory properties and they really help boost the immune system and help with upper respiratory infection, sinus infection and so forth. What you can do with them is you can brew a tea from them, you can make that into a vinegar, you can make cordials with it, you can make syrup with it, you can dip the whole elder flower into a batter and fry that and sprinkle just a little bit of sugar over it and eat that which is also super yummy. So I'm going to take you with me and we'll pick some elder flowers where we're going to have to find some here. Here's a beautiful example of elder flowers. They're a little bit far already and next to it you can see the berries forming and because it's pretty challenging for me even with a selfie stick to pick some while I'm recording this I'm going to pick some and show you the elder flowers once I've picked them. Here's a good example of some elderberry flowers. You can as I said you can dip them in some batter and fry them um, or you can shake them off and dry them and drink them as a tea, which again, um, acts as a little bit as a diuretic, anti-inflammatory. It raises the temperature in the body slightly, so it has a warming effect. And it's really good for when you have a cold or when you feel like you have a cold coming on. I hope that you found this interesting. Again, check out my blogging friends videos that I'm linking in the description box below for our spring collaboration. You can also go to my blog at OurGabledHome.com where I have more tips and recipes. And if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. You can also give me a like and let me know if you have any questions or comments. I would love to answer them. 
I upload new videos every week, so please do come back to the space and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for watching.